Shut up! Babe! We're trying to do a recording, so shut up! It's called Big Name Bros. Yeah. What's up? Hey! hey. Welcome back to Big Name Bitches! <laughs> Where we bitch about everything from reality TV to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have in front of us here, Jono? I, honestly, I have no idea because we weren't prepped for this interview. And, this is totally off the cuff. But let's try it. Let's try it. Let's hope. I, I bet there's alcohol in it. JK, yeah. there is never. Really killing. You don't like it? This tastes like shit. I like it. <laughs> it's a peanut. It's, it's a peanut colada. Perfect for January, whatever it is. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. no, it's February 14th. That's Love right. is in the air. Happy Valentine's Can Day. You feel everybody. Should we break into song? I. Sure. What do you want to sing? Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? Tonight is where we are. Uh, uh, we now. This is our show. Now. This is our show. It's pretty clear. Yeah, it's it pretty easy. I, well, you know, I I love our ladies, and they just just thrust us right into the spotlight. Can I ask you a question, please? Valentine's Day. Do you think it's warranted? You know, I think. It depends on, in my past, it depends on who I was dating. Right. You know what I mean? If now, like, I'm really in love, I'm like, yeah, let's celebrate. It's so sure. good. It's but, a, but you, I'm assuming you, uh, you reaffirm, affirm, reaffirm your love for Annalise every day. Of course. So it's like, to me, this day has always felt manufactured. I still it is. go and do the things that I should do. Right, me too. But, but like, you don't make a big deal. It's like, get the chocolates and get the, cho maybe get some the roses, roses and the yeah. whips, the chains, et cetera. The, yeah, yeah, but uh, um, no. <laughs> just me. Okay. No, but I totally agree with you. I do think it's manufactured. So use it to your advantage if you can. But if you don't, I remember like when I was single, I'd be like, "This is going to be the night to go out." Oh, for sure. But it really never was. No, it's just a bunch of us lonely dudes. Exactly like, at a bar, thinking it was it the night to go out. Turns into a frat party. Yeah, and we're commiserating and playing yeah. beer pong till we pass out. What are your plans this Valentine's Day? Oh my God, so many things. There's so many things. Really? <laughs> yep. If I too many to list off. Oh, How about you? <laughs> yeah, not not much to be honest. I think, like I said, we're gonna. I'll get some chocolates. I'll get some roses, and we'll probably go out to dinner the day before or the day after. See, I have this um, this hindrance. Uh -huh. um, well, they're yeah, they're called children. Oh, and so they kind of they're like bumpers in the bowling lane. You, you know what I mean? You can't go to the gutter or where you want to go. I've never heard this metaphor <laughs> yeah. used for children. I'm just pulling this out of my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, I want to see where it goes. But, um, I, I wonder if they'll be sick that day. Sure. Or, I mean, sorry, it is that day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you but people know. You guys know. But that. like a good parent, you haven't talked to them in a while, so you don't know if they're sick or not. Exactly. Yeah. Is that my yeah. job? Uh, no. No, it's my job to make sure they get a job. Now, let me ask you this. Is... Christy's someone who's been like, Valentine's Day, we better have something no, planned. No, not at all. Christy is so easy. Yeah. Like, legit. Yeah. Like, she has Marisa. no expectations. Yeah. Uh, therefore, I want to do more. Yeah. It's right? a weird thing. Whenever you don't, in any situation, I feel like if you're like, I, I don't really care about it, the other person in the situation is like, well, now I care. Yeah. It's that scene in People Wedding should Crashers. Take, they should take note. That's right. You know? They should take notes. This is so true. Yes. I think it's like a universal truth. Yeah. It's by the way, do we even need them to come on? Right? I feel like we're doing great. Yeah. Oh shit. No, should we sing another song? <laughs> I think they probably That's what want they to do. sing another song. Uh I think um love is an interesting thing. Have Ooh. you noticed you are recently engaged, by the way? I am. Congratulations Thank you. on camera. Thank you. Um, have you noticed anything change at all since the engagement? And I, how long were you dating before you got engaged? Uh just under four years. Okay. Uh, it felt like, in my opinion, it felt like it was like coming up to the time. It's like, let's let's go. It's, right. Yeah. I think, and I think we hit it right at the exact moment. That it was a perfect. Was the holidays to. are perfect. Yeah. So we got. We see. We got married New Year's Eve. Love Our it. daughter's born Christmas Eve. That whole time. It's just fun. It's a fun time. It's a fun time to celebrate your it's engagement. A, it's a great time. So, yeah. four years. You felt it was the right time. Do uh -huh. you feel any difference? So. Honestly, I do f literally in the moment before she put on the ring and the moment after things change in a great way, in a great way. But like there, first of all, I also, I hope the girls didn't want to talk about this today because I'm just going to talk about it now. They, I kind of always downplayed like, you know, people when they're dating for a long time, they get engaged and that's whatever. But when it actually happened, it was 
It's a moment. It's a it's it's a one of few truly momentous occasions. Yeah. that happen in your life. Yeah. Oh man, I was about to get into some mini stuff. All right, Look let's, who's here? Let's what bring in our guests, Christy Carlson, Michelle Romano, Rooney. Okay. Hey. 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 Louisa Vanderpool Wilson. Vanderpool. What? I'm not taking his name. I won't. <laughs> oh, you she's shouldn't. Independent. She shouldn't. I'm sorry. No. I'm not taking. You guys are adorable. Thank you for coming. And why you guys are you so insult cute trying to do a podcast. How sweet they were trying to do a podcast, Christy. Like look at them. They, they were just. Didn't they look them. like absolute fools? They did, and I loved it. Thanks they for didn't the support, know what, guys. Yeah, you guys are great. You know my my um fiance. Me. He's really good at improv, but today I learned maybe he's not. <laughs> maybe he's not your fiance? No, no, he's still oh, my fiance. My well, maybe not after this, but I thought you were better at improv than that, babe. That was a disaster, okay? I, I'm sorry, improv? We were having a conversation. It, on podcasts, you don't improvise, you have a conversation. We can, and we Brendan can, and I were connecting. He has so much to learn about podcasts. Over me, love, <laughs> talking about love. We can humiliate them right now. Actually, if you, guys, if you guys did have a podcast, though, what would you call it? Oh God! You know what? <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind Big D bitches because I think there is something nice about meeting other dudes who can also talk about their feelings and their yeah. big dicks. I, yeah, actually, <laughs> this is gonna yeah, maybe, be a fun. One. Maybe and it's just you. like big deep dicks or something like that. But big deep dicks. Not, I'm sorry to keep saying dicks. Very well. You're not dicks at all. You're great men, and I love that. Like an emotional, like, Richard dick. like an emotionally available man show. That would be cool. Yeah, man enough podcast. Does it's just man us enough. jumping man on trampolines. Oh, that's at the a end. good. Title. I just love you guys together. Yeah, um, us too. I love them. I love that. <laughs> it gives us a lot of joy to have you guys on our pod <laughs> yes. because you guys are not ever. Um, so Jono's been on, and I was really embarrassed because I was like, my husband doesn't come on. Why were you embarrassed? Because he's, he's, he's come gem. on three times. Not embarrassed, maybe yeah, sad. Well, I was disappointed, disappointed. and sad, and yeah. I said, why don't you love me? <laughs> so he literally booked a ticket I to come and support you. me this week, this week of filming. Yeah. And, and, I'm and so I filed excited. for divorce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This wow. was really cool. So basically we were like, you know what? And then because you are in town for work, I was like, oh my God, ho hopefully Jono has the time because mm -hmm. he's a busy person. Mm -hmm. and, and I was like, could we do a Valentine's Day episode? Yes. And here we fucking here we are. are. Happy this Valentine's couch Day. is not comfortable. No. I think it's, I, so I admire it keeps you. Us yes, alert. I know. I it keeps know. us alert though. The, yeah, it does. It, it definitely it's like having, makes you sit up. Well, and it's I also have, weird to like look at you like I know. this. I know. Welcome I to know the club, Brenton. Yeah. Listen, this was your freaking creation. Yeah, right? It's your I'm just kidding. But it's so cute, the lip couch. But I know what you mean. I know. I find I have back problems after it. Worth it. Hey, you guys I want it. upgrades to the set. All you need to do is fly me out here, <laughs> put me in it, uh, and now you got restoration hardware. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Thank you. I love that. Or no. just like do better, and then you'll get more money. That's true. Oh shit! That's true. You see that do improv better. insult? Do better. This guys, it's Valentine's. You're supposed to tell us how much no, you love unwrap us. Unwrap that box of chocolate. Let's cheers to Valentine's. I got it. Cheers to Valentine's. Right. Day. I love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Getting I do. lost I don't like in the rain. Is. Yeah. Mm. What is it? Getting lost Get in the rain. Left in the rain. Is that what he Ooh, says? Yeah. I have no idea. Actually. That song is actually really no, funny because it's about a guy putting a want ad out to meet somebody else, mm -hmm. After and then it turns plans, right? out no, it turns out that when he meets <laughs> the woman, it's his wife. Oh, that's right. So he was planning on cheating, cheating on, on his wife. Yeah, and then him on Cape Cod. Cod. Mm. Oh my God, have you seen the sketch that mm. Cape Cod in the winter? Is yes, that an I SNL? have. It's funny. Is yeah. that an SNL yeah. thing? Yeah. It, it's a TikTok thing. It's a TikTok thing. Oh, okay. It's a TikTok thing. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Yeah. We don't really yeah. like love. Like, for some whatever reason, anytime we've interviewed people about SNL, it's never been like a positive thing. So never. I like never. I mean, <laughs> Manon. Yeah, so yeah. many people talk shit really? on SNL. It's tough. It well, just sounds hard. Yeah. It's, a it's like a necessary room. evil. If you're trying to be a writer. Yeah. Sure. Or anything. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Who we just saw? We just saw Shane. What's his name? Stand up? Oh, Gillis. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis was very funny. Yeah, he didn't get He goes in hard. He goes in hard. He doesn't do SNL. On SNL. Ah, gotcha. He got right. fired before, right after getting hired. Yeah. Uh, why do you love us? Yeah. So yes, Valentine's oh, yeah. Day. Let's tell me, tell yeah. me how much you, you love me. I mean, sure. Tell me. Well, I love everything about you, Annalisa. I Brendan. think you're a hard worker. You're a kind person. That's so funny. You're incredibly humble. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, I'm ha happy to have you in our wake and to be a part of what we're doing here. This at is Pod so Talk. awkward. Did we Brendan, were talking I love about your you mind. I love your heart, and Brendan. Chris, so I gotta awkward, say, Brendan. Not only that are you ass beautiful is an ass inside right now, <laughs> are we swinging? But you're right so now? smart. Is that what's happening? You're so, you guys, you're so smart. smart. Yeah, no, I you're love so you too, but it's not going in that direction. Swinging always works out. We were told by our neighbors that the house that we currently live in was they were swingers. 
Yeah, we actually saged the entire house. How this is does not the a joke. real estate person know? Is that something you have no, to no, say? No, no, like, no. Someone person. was murdered here, or there were swingers the living neighbor, in this house. The neighbor. It was, it was the nosy neighbor. Hold on. The neighbor who is the world's top beaver hat maker. This is not a joke. This is Texas. This is real. Okay. <laughs> this is real. She's, she's actually awesome. But she's like, just so you know, that house has history. First couple that was there, they divorced. Next couple was there, they divorced. They were swingers. And we're like, she's like, they invited the us over. What? Maybe. And so I, I'm not we kidding. Not. I had nightmares for like what, almost a month straight. No, yeah. like, like, not, not from this. I just felt the swing. It was just the knees going into a bowl. My Irish man is superstitious. I, I'm, I'm not a little stitious. Sure. I'm superstitious. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and you say and that it, every time I say that, which is uh, its own superstition. You're setting me up, and I do. I have to keep saying it. Don't say it again. I have to say it again. No, we got enough fucking feedback forever. But they, You're superstitious. They, it wasn't the, first of all, no judgment on, if you swing away, swing away. Mm -hmm. if sure. that's your They didn't thing. have kids. Here's what I would say. That's their business. It, but yeah. I, it, there was an energy, mm -hmm. right? It mm -hmm. sept into my subconscious and I was having nightmare after nightmare for like fucking 30 days What straight. were the nightmares? Oh my God, he they has, were so He has obscure. such sexual nightmares. Just Some Christy of them, getting home really late and being like, that uh, party really wore me out. <laughs> oh, it was, I can't imagine going to a bad party. But um, <laughs> who fuck, I can't even fucking remember. Some of them were so obscure and weird. Brennan like, has yeah. nightmares about, um, he'll, so he'll go to bed and he'll wake up and in the middle of the night, he'll be like, I love you so much. Like he'll yeah. snuggle me. <laughs> and She's like, just like, what just happened? Just yeah, like, I love what you nightmare so much. did you just Never have? Never mind that yeah. entire village so, I burned to the ground. Yeah. So he'll have these nightmares where he'll be like, you basically just, um, it must you, be pe a you fell PTSD. out of love with no, me. No, it's not. Uh, uh, uh. You fell out of love. Yeah, with Lisa has those all the time. Oh my god, I have those all the time. Really? That's funny. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. That I'm just not I, in love with her anymore. Me, he yeah, he's me. just like a different person. Yeah. Oh yeah, or he just tells me he does not love with me anymore. My sisters are so confused. They're like, "What do you mean he doesn't love you anymore?" I'm crying to them. I'm saying he doesn't love me anymore. He says he doesn't love me anymore. He's with another girl. Yeah, yes, that's so, exactly. so fucking real. That's right? It does it feel real. So real. And, but the, yours, the weirdest sister, thing about it is mm -hmm. I don't really have any insecurities of that with him. No, I mean, I, me maybe either. in my yeah. past relationships. So you all, your sister's a therapist. Did you tell her about it? I did. What I did, did she say? Gosh, she didn't um, therapize it. Maybe okay. I should ask her if there's, I don't think she believes in like, you know, the only dream I believe that means anything is the one where your teeth falling out, which is basically telling what you your life is in dis disarray. It means uh, your, your life's you're unorganized. Stressed. You're stressed. Okay. You're stressed, which is all over these dreams. Have you guys ever really? had a dream where you've killed someone? Oh, yeah. And you have to escape? Yeah. That's yeah. him, too. Yeah, oh, I've had many. that. That's horrifying. Like, it starts off, and I know that I've committed the murder, uh -huh. and I'm like, how am I going to get out of this? <laughs> you know what always is with me? This is a great Valentine's Day episode. They always find That's what it is with me. They pick up, I'm like, I know I didn't. Did I kill someone? Oh, fuck, I don't remember if I killed someone. I know, I know. And And I'm like, I'm on the run. Yeah, and then I wake up. I'm like, I like actually, but I've done I this. Remember. Where I'll look out the window. I'm like, you haven't fucking killed anybody. You fucking sociopath. Yeah. Why are you thinking like this? Yeah. Maybe you will. But anyway, this dream that recurred, I was like, well, this is clearly the swinger energy, and that was a bad kind of swinger energy. Obviously, they mm. weren't kind swingers. They were mean swingers. Oh, yeah. no. Right? Not a lot. Of, not no. a lot of consent going on. In this dream. <laughs> it was like, you know, oh, no, really? you really want to do this, honey? You know, you want to do this. Oh, it was like no. that kind of thing. And yeah, so anyway, dark. I'm like. I am not. Well, a to be fair, I'm a very. Science. Our house has that opium den. Well, I'm s it was called what? an opium den. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come again. We sorry. converted it. We say. First of all, I say. I'm like. We have to get sage and sage the whole house. Chrissy, it buddy. has an opium den. <laughs> we converted it. We it's converted our it. children's I playroom. I should you not. Know, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> we did. I should you not. Know, it's so energy you. now. <laughs> it connects the two kids' rooms. I'm like, we got to sage this whole fucking house. And she's like. Brennan, you're like a man of science. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm so, and I, I'm in the science zone. And you're superstitious. I, I've, I, no, there are vibes though. Now I gotta say the thing again. No, I'm not a there little There are vibes, there are vibes. Like have you ever been over someone's house and they like meditate a lot and you're like, oh, it's calm. It's a vibe you know? in there. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. You go into a swinger's house and you're like, well, I God. wanna do it. I don't like it. this. Why am I sweaty in all the wrong parts right now? Have you ever Feel met good. a swinger? <laughs> no. Met a swinger? Um, that, no, that, no. Have you been a swinger? Like what? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. I mean, love is in the I air. I think these days, I mean, it's hard enough to be a porn star with all the diseases going around. How can you be a swinger? I mean, you just, you're constantly in a the hospital <laughs> testing yourself, right? You it's know what? Hard I enough to be a porn star. It's hard enough to be a porn star. I mean, well, yeah, you know how it is being a porn star. Well, I'm just saying the, the amount of protection. It just star seems not pod. fun. It seems more of like a transaction that just takes a lot. Yeah, of it feels. Time. Like, here's what it feels like to me, right? And tell me if you agree. Mm. It feels like to me it starts of a like with a place of curiosity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then ultimately ends up to manipulation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and someone always ends up unhappy of course or well, both people of course right? and, yeah. yeah i don't see that yeah. being a 
again, do what you want, but to me, it seems unhealthy. That's yeah, all I'm saying. it's not our, it's not our bag. It's not our bag. It's, it's not, not our bag. You know, guys. Now you know me, guys. I'm very tolerant about everything, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and so, like, I think that there's a culture for everything, and you know, to poo-poo it, we don't understand it. No, right. right? That's what I'm saying. It's just no, not for sure. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. Mm. Anyway, what should we do this Valentine's Day? Oh, can man. I wait? Can I just go back to our original point? I love everything about you. Uh-huh. That's the answer. Oh, 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 okay. Like, and your <laughs> your your commitment to to becoming a better human oh, every day. Yes. There he goes. Yes. That's it. That's Christy's it. back I in therapy, y'all. I am. Nice. It's been nice. Have yes. we noticed my earrings? I love Christy's now, in therapy, the and so is Jono. Are <gasps> we? No. Yeah. no we're, not. <laughs> we're not. Is that That's because we're, we're already perfect, Brendan. Yeah, it's exactly. our spouses that need the work. You know what it I mean? Is. We are swinging. That's it. We're swinging. Yeah. We're swinging emotionally. Yeah. You need the yin and the yang. So you just you just went back into therapy. Not went back. No, oh. no. I I have done it a, a bunch. It's yeah. like, you know, the thing is, is just talking to somebody about, even if it's like you something that I'd say to Annalisa, it's different to say it to a stranger, mm-hmm. kind of. Well, yeah. But and, definitely, and, uh, I feel like people, and I've heard this a lot, like want their therapist to be like, you're great though. You know, <laughs> you're gonna be okay. Yeah, but you're perfect. You know, my other clients. I'm I'm so you, different, guys. I really truly want my therapist to tell, tell me what answers. a piece of shit I am, oh, and yeah, then and the like answers. fight through to get to that answer. That's so not gonna happen. That's you're not healthy, healthy, right? That's a yeah. good uh, therapy. But For you're not sure. that way, yeah. or no, you're getting there. If I am in therapy, I want the therapist to be like, "Listen, bud, you're doing everything right. <laughs> <laughs> you got your head on your Ooh. shoulders, and honestly, Just keep coming and let me take you. You don't have to pay me because it is a pledge <laughs> to have you talk to me today. <laughs> See, my problem has always been I want to outsmart them. Oh, it's he's like a game. Wait, what's that movie, yeah. The Departed? The Departed. He's like that guy in The Departed. <laughs> It's, um, it's Matt, like the Matt Damon character. Yeah. No, that. like the Matt Damon character who's like, you can't therapize me. Right. The, oh, Irish, yeah. the, the Irish, Irish can't be therapized. Yeah, yeah, Did you know yeah, about yeah, this? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the theory. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't know about it. Tell her about yeah. it. Yeah, we just can't be. We're 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 strong-headed, uh, you know, assholes. Stubborn. Whatever. Yeah, we're stubborn. Yeah, we're stubborn. We're men. Stubborn. We're men. Yeah, we're men. We're men. Stubborn. Yeah, but it's Irish. It's Irish. It's even the it's even the women. They're impervious. To psychoanalysis. That's right. the line, right? That's the line. That's it. Yeah. Why do I feel like we need to be keeping in theme with Valentine's Day? Like, should you're we talk totally about, right. Should you're, we talk about we should. love? The yeah. first people we loved. If we weren't with, if Ooh. you weren't with Christy, who would you love? Ooh. Just kidding. Ooh. Who do you love more than Christy and your two girls? Ooh. Like, Ooh. And Izzy and Sophia. Who do you love know. more than like your immediate do you family? Do you think you could love anybody before? She just showed me the wedding video and it just no. was so beautiful seeing you. Here's what I said. I mean this. I'm 100% serious about this. If God forbid there was ever a tragedy. And Christy would, I would never remarry. Never. Um, and, <laughs> wow, no, bravo. No, 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 I, 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 I can, Listen, I, if anything happened to her, like I would not be cool with it and I'd probably stay single. I and would, honestly, probably, this is no, not getting I'm me any points sure right now for saying this, then F you. <laughs> you guys don't see the scoreboard behind you? <laughs> Watch that. that, 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 that that's this is chalk, so morbid, but yeah, go ahead. If anything <laughs> no, happened to no, Christy. I, I mean that. I don't, I just, it's a... I believe love. She's her soulmate. Well, right, and and love, love is not the beginning. Like this is what everybody no. gets. This person should. I should every day feel this beautiful butterfly shit. Mm-hmm. It's like what you're feeling is infatuation, dum dum. Actually, limerence. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that a real word? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. That's nine feeling. months after you start dating of someone. Oh my god, you guys, you're so smart. I, nine you know months. What's so funny? That's my one big word, and I said it last round, and you were no, just as impressed. Was as I you really? Right now. Oh yeah. So you need you me as your friend because I don't not? remember shit. Limerence. Yeah, you were so into me saying limerence. I am. It worked again. Yeah. You Chris. Do it later. If you and Christy ever get in a fight, you just have to be like, Christy, have you ever heard of limerence? (laughs) You're enjoying us. But limerence. Genius. I've got to talk to you more. Limerence is infatuation where you sort of play it up in your head even more than when you're with the person. I mean, it's true, but it always fades. How do you know that word, though? Because um, I don't know, my sisters and I were talking about it one day about Jono and probably our other relationships. And yeah, what's left after the limerence is gone, after the obsession, after the the insane sex, what's left? That's where love comes in. Love. Right? And so for me, I have no fucking interest in ever having limerence in that way in my life again. Now, we're- Me neither. I think the the, the love, there are ebbs and flows to it, but like we are- I look at our almost our relationship before and after kids, mm-hmm. you know, and like after kids, holy fuck, like the I love, and it's not kids that do this for everybody, for mm. us that happened to be the thing. I, Where now I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to give my heart. Can to I anybody ask? Else. Can I ask now kind of a hard hitting question? Yeah, because um, he can relate to this as it pertains to the beginning of our love stories. 
Um, was she drinking actively when you guys first started dating? No. Oh, so you I was... asked her out to drinks. I asked her out. I actually asked her out to drinks and she was like, sure. And I was like, cool. And then we met up and I, like the classy dude that I am, got a glass of soft blanc. <laughs> yeah, and, baby. And <laughs> um, she got a Diet Coke and I was like, oh, are you not drinking? And she was like, I don't drink. She's like, I'm pregnant. I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. No, but I was like, me oh, okay. But I think there was also something where I, I said something to her like, Maybe this was, I don't, I forget, but there was one time where I said something like, do you want me to bring any drinks or something? And she was messing with me and she said, no, just bring me a bunch of cigarettes. And I was like, what kind? And she was like, <laughs> Newports. And I showed up to her house with a thing of no, Newports you fucking cigarettes. Didn't. So That's like, awesome. I got your cigarettes. And she was like, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you guys remember the line, there are Newports, not supports, if you'd actually try to bump somebody's Newport? Wait, what? No. Say that They're again? called Newports, not supports. Supports. Oh, yeah. supports. Oh, I get it. That was good. In the we Marines. used to throw that around. In the yeah, Marines. That's good. I love, a lot of sticks. I gotta be I honest. I bet. I, it, it, it really is such a turn on that I scored a military guy. Oh, it's it's so hot. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. I cannot weirdo. even tell yeah. you how many boxes this man checks off for me. Mm -hmm. um, and and every year. Sorry. Every year. <laughs> a box joke. Including, including, including my box. Including yeah. this box. Check that box. It's up Checked it. Generally speaking, yes. You know what's yeah, funny though? You yeah, asked yeah. that about him, me drinking, and um, yeah, I, I really, I really did meet him at the perfect time. I was saying in another episode, I think that like truly, if I was drinking, he would have nothing to do with me. I mean, I'm a totally different person, and I, I really met. I mean, I feel so blessed. So, so many things happened in such a great way. Disney's given me so many gifts, and one of the gifts was him, and they gave me Aww. him at the exact right time. Like, how sober was I after we You're met? You're really sober. <clears throat> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you were so fucking sober. I'm just trying to think. How like, sober was I? <laughs> well, I was sober for several years, and then I had a slip up. <laughs> That's pretty and normal. Don't I worry. love Jonah's face right now. He's like, oh my god, <laughs> right? You're like, wait, this is news to me. <laughs> but, do, but in that regard, it's like, yeah, it just worked out. I mean, I'd like to think that you love me so much, and that you you would stay with me. But I'd also like to think that you wouldn't stay me if I stay with me if I went back to that. Oh, I have thoughts on that, but you, you go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, I don't know what that would would be like of course i would stay by you and help you through it mm -hmm. uh, but like you know what's weird it's like i because i came in after you had any struggles that you had with alcohol like i don't have any experience with it which i don't know i, I don't know if that's like a scary thing or uh, the thing is with your sobriety now i feel like you're in such a great place mm -hmm. You know, there's like wine in the house and stuff, and she sees it as a, a true <laughs> allergy, so she wants nothing to do with it. So that makes me feel pretty secure. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, Christy, like socially to everyone around her, was very fun, right? Mm. But with me is where all the darkness came out. Oh, right, and it was it was just a lot of underlying stuff that had nothing to do with me. Of course, right? Yes, and of so we're, we're we we. She got pregnant with our first and she's like, I'm done. I'm like, I'm going to commend that. And also I'm going to help keep you on the path. And also I need you to stay on that path. Yeah. Mm. And like, I watched her become this and she'll always be like, oh, you know, you're such a part of this. And think I was like, no, no, you've done all of this. Mm. All I've been there to do is to show you that it is on you. Like, and you can do that. Right. But, but like, I get what you're saying. And right? it was both of you. And so my, my, my feeling about it is like, if you don't love yourself enough <clears throat> to stay on the path, <clears throat> then that to me is a problem for us mm -hmm. and for our kids, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, granted, people screw up, mm -hmm. but like, as you get older, the tolerance for screwing up is less and less. Exactly. Because you're not applying wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can be old, and you, or you can be wise, or you can be old and wise, but just because you're old doesn't mean you're wise. Ooh, gosh, what how right? well said, yeah. Right, so <laughs> like, John being like, wise is being on big dick dudes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's good, it's good. It's I, too much. So, I, I wouldn't... <laughs> I, I don't know if it's it's too much. No, it's it is too, too much. much. <laughs> it is too it's much. Too That's much. good. Yeah. Great. I know. I fucking love this guy. Oh, man. Yes, get out of here. What's he even uh, so it? I don't like. I, it would be tough for me to to um, to deal with that. But we, you know, fucking, we've been through it all. Uh huh. We've been broke as shit uh -huh. together. 
And now we're on. Which makes you stronger. It's really rich. interesting. And you know, they talk rich. about people being <laughs> rich in love. Uh-huh. No. They talk about people being like a, a whole before they meet. You know, you complete me is like bullshit because really you need to be a whole to meet your other whole. Yeah, right. But it's it's interesting, you know, because that, like the toughness, right, of everything you guys have been, been through has made you stronger. Sometimes I think about us and I'm like, I don't know if we've been through anything tough yet. I know what we will. I know things happen. Life, horrible things happen. But it's interesting. Yeah, like that kind of deep hardship. Like he's never seen that side of me, which is is interesting. And Wait, but I you know, said you but you up, carry though, right? it with you I before slip, before we. But you got, carry oh, that okay, with you, okay, on yeah. Lisa. I okay. slipped up, which I've never said, which I think I can say now. It'll be the first time, sure. and I really don't care. But I slipped up on the set of Raven's Home. Um, I mean, it feels safe enough for you to say, "Hey, I, I slipped yeah. up. It's okay." I have another question because yeah. how long have you guys been together? <clears throat> Thirteen years. Thirteen years. In okay. February. So which is now a week from now? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Do you like? Obviously, you have the mutual respect for each other. You work together. Do you have any questions? No, no. I really, I really do want to know, like. What, okay. what do you think that, because I know my feelings about Annalise and I'll obviously talk because I'm asking this question so that I can talk, but um, what do you say, what would you say like that, that extra underlying thing hmm. is that keeps you guys together? Like, is there one thing underneath all of the like respecting each other's intelligence and finding each other funny or whatever it is. being inspired. You guys like creative, we work together. Yeah, what's yeah. the what's the thing that you think is so um, the most important between the two of you? Well, I'll speak uh, two, two parts to this. Uh-huh. The first thing I'm gonna say, what brought us together mm-hmm. was that she, she was my muse, right? I mean, you know the business side of me, but, but you know, you know the artist side mm-hmm. too, right? Like that's, I had never had anyone in my path artist. that was an artist or was artistic mm. and who believed in what I did my whole life, I was told do better, right? And actually I'm very happy about that. Mm-hmm. I, should, I, I should say it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, the other part didn't come till I was 28 where it's like, no dude, you're like really fucking talented at this. Mm. And that was her, I was like, right, whoa, right. Yeah. like yeah. that's the scratch to the itch mm. that I've been needing mm-hmm. and that's never stopped, mm. right? So I'll say that, for Being me, each other's champion, cheerleading, cheerleading. One hundred percent. And then the other thing is, we share the same value set, like one hundred percent. Like we we value like family, staying together, raising kids who will be good members of society. The fundamentals. The fun, you can't mm-hmm. raise assholes. Mm-hmm. And to bettering ourselves, and like you've come along for that ride for sure. Like, but like getting better, improving who you are. Mm-hmm. All the time, I'd literally do that every single day. I think about how to be better. Do you think you guys like each other every day? Yeah, Yeah. no worries. Um, (laughs) I think that's cool. I think that's a cool hack. Like uh, knowing that you guys share values, identifying those values that you guys co-sign on and share. Uh Because I feel like you guys are very different. But at the same time, obviously, you wouldn't have made it this far if Mm -hmm. unless you truly. But I don't know if you guys have ever had those kinds of conversations about what. Hey, you know, this is why we're. This is why we work. Like, have you guys actually talked about that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's, that's important. Really good well, I think because that's what thing... you'll fall back on mm-hmm. when it, times are tough. Sure. You'll be like, wait, this is why? why we work. Let's go back to praising that. Talking about your problems all the time is is antithetical to, to uh, gr- growth, in my opinion. Like, you can talk about a problem forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, Stay you, in the past. you have to kind of, you have to be solution oriented mm-hmm. at some point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you both are we, very solution. We talk yeah. about how much we love each other and how awesome we are together all the time. Yeah, we feed time. each other's ego like, while we're also. I'm like, aren't we fucking great together? Mm-hmm. Uh, God, we love, I yeah. love we, you. I love this. Definitely, yeah. All yeah, we do too. Do we kind of think we're like the best couple in the world. We exactly. do, the, yeah, we do that back. all the time. Like, we're, we are always talking about, like, can you believe how amazing we are yeah. together? Like, you know, can you believe we but got also, this free trip to Thailand? Yeah. That was so to fun to watch shit. you guys do that. I was like so excited for you guys. Totally. By the way, so many people were so excited by your engagement. I know. How did that make you guys feel? It was off the charts, guys. It made us feel incredible. I mean, like, I set up, I probably should have told this story, but like, I. I made a reservation at 7.30 to the place that we like would always go to. One of our first dates. Yeah, and we would always go there. And then it became like our spot for our uh, birthdays and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I made a reservation at 7.30. I told her the reservation was at 7 because I was like, she'll be upstairs doing her makeup and I'll have to be like, honey, we have to go. And then I'll be like, will you marry me? And 
at nice. like 6 30 she was like i'm just gonna get some cameos done and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> and so she like does her she goes in to do her cameos she's like oh my god is this did you set this ring light up because you knew i was gonna do cameos you're so sweet and i'm like yep that's why it's there <laughs> She so you had cameos. no idea. She had okay. no idea. She no idea. closed no the curtains, idea. sat down on the couch. I had the ring light set up because I knew the frame I wanted for the video I was going to take of the proposal. That's awesome. I like sneakily like set it up, opened the curtains. I was like, honey, can you uh, come over here? And she was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I Did you hear her tone of his voice was like different? I held her hands and uh, no, started No, I was weeping. like doing something. I was like, yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Then I got yes. to him. Awesome. Then I got to him and he went like this. And then I was like, oh. And so I knew then, but I honestly, you guys, I was like, he's just gonna say, "Babe, I really love you." Oh, I he can't took your wait. hands. He's, he had his he, two hands and you out. Were weeping. I held I her hands. And he was already crying. That's crying. Called, that's weeping. Called but you guys, I, I still I didn't get it. Immediately said, I, "I love you more than anything in the world." <laughs> oh. And then I like had he like said a, a speech a written out. He also wrote it down. Oh. And so and I have it now. And nice. so like I said the whole thing, and then I really thought though, you guys, I really thought he was just gonna say. You know, babe, I love you so much. I love this life we're doing together, and I just can't wait to keep doing it. And I just, I didn't think just he was going to propose or something. I was right, like, right. but he's not doing it. Now he didn't get a ring. When did he get a ring? He got it when I was and in the, Asia for two and a half months. And then I dropped down on a knee, and as I was going down, she's like, are you proposing to me? And mm. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did it, and, and she course, dropped down, and we just so had that, you like. You down with them. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It was just like a crazy moment that fills your entire body with, like, like this giddy joy and happiness. I never thought we I were, cared about engagements. We I never thought laughing. I cared about weddings or being you only a get wife. A few of this. We were like yeah, scream were laughing at each other <laughs> and like crying, it was just crying, crying, crying and so like, excited. And it was like, And then we just, called, he told everybody already, my sisters knew for months and months and months. And yeah. I, they did oh, such cool. a good job. Well, they'd helped, like I was looking for the ring and I was like, what do you guys think about this? Mm -hmm. And they were like, that's great. And so. And, here it is. and it's yeah. fucking gorgeous. And that shit Thank blew you. up on the interwebs. Yeah, and everybody was so excited. Do you know how happy I was to see that? I'm not kidding. Like, first of all, one of the things for me this year- He as told he's me first and I was pissed. To, I was like, fuck, oh, he told me. One of my things is to build stronger community and ties to the people that I think are great. Yeah. And, and I've told her, I want to spend more time with you guys. Oh. I want to find a way to do that. We haven't we spent agree. a ton and of time gonna... together, but the time we have spent together has been Fucking great. We, like, we should go on vacation fun. with yeah. each other. I was should. so That'd be fun. We should do that. That would be fun. Without, without happy. the children. <laughs> I was so happy to see that. I was, Thank you. My fucking heart filled up. Oh, I believe oh. I was that. sick as fuck. We were in Aspen. And I was like, this is awesome. Did you see this, Christine? I, I was said, like, they fucking got engaged. She's I like, believe what? that you felt that you uh, we were so excited for us. Thank you, yeah. Brandon. Yeah, we're so excited too. And yeah. you know, that post got more posts, more likes and love than any of my other stuff. You yeah. know, Selena like, Gomez. And it's just reassuring <laughs> because you know, with this hate culture, this hate sells stuff. It was really nice to think, no, love sells to oh, people. Love, love wins. Love, love wins. wins every Absolutely. time. Does, How did he propose to you? Oh, wait, but wait, can so, I ask a couple more questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when did you start thinking about this? It was so October. I was no, it was like um, the end of the summer. So and like when we hung out. So because we started grilling you. Because I started Kit grilling Kat. you. You did. You I started grilling Duncan you in a Cape Cod. Yeah, but Do you we remember went. That? I was. I was. <laughs> gonna get married. I've obviously been like. We, we've talked. We're like, well, we're gonna get married. We should just get married. I think at first we were being cool and being like. Who cares? Like we don't need that. We'll just live together and like so LA. Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon it. But like, and then eventually I, we're like, okay, if we ever do, we'll just we'll, we don't need to be engaged, babe. We'll just go to the courthouse. You don't have to give me a big fancy ring. We'll just make a decision together and go to the courthouse. Fuck that noise. And then we I went, know because now I got this fucking thing. I know. <laughs> and then we went we went on the cruise with Annalise's sisters, and I was hanging out with one of her sisters, and I was like, I was like, I need to like say it out loud. Like it's the mm -hmm. same thing as when, if you're in a bad relationship you and you tell a friend, I don't think this is the right relationship oh. to be in. The minute like, yeah, you man. say it out loud. Totally. <laughs> I've had someone's say it out father loud, tell me that. <clears throat> but the minute you say it out loud, like it's a snowball that is not gonna stop. And it was yeah. the exact same thing. I was like, I need to say it out loud to her sister and be like, I wanna marry Annalise and I wanna propose. And she was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. Which one was it, Rachel or it Sarah? It was Sarah. Yeah, you're and like, then, Sarah can keep a secret. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> right after the cruise, I started texting with Sarah and Rachel and being like, so can, do you guys have any intel on like what she likes? I know she likes my brother's wife's ring. And so I was just starting to, you know, yeah, learn like about the four C's and I was talking to, <laughs> the other nice thing is like, I was talking to a couple of my buddies who had recently proposed and it was nice to have, like we were saying, other guys who you can talk about mm. emotions and stuff with oh, and be yeah, like, dude. oh my God, it's so exciting. And then I had buddies who were like texting me like, 
have you gotten the ring yet? Can it send me a picture? Oh my oh, God, are you looking at it every night? Sweetie. It's like bullshit yeah. that you people have some guy friends. Oh my yes. God, yes. Like exactly. totally. I do. Totally. He has a lot of guy friends, which I think, and I think that's such Healthy. a good sign. Healthy. You yeah, need yeah. that. Yeah. Big yeah. time. Yeah. Because yeah. it could slip for you guys. I'm always trying to set Brendan up with people because he works so damn much. Right. And I'm yeah. always like, but he oh, has great guy I friends. Cherish, I'm sure. Yeah, I cherish. But they don't live in the same area. So I think it's always great. But we You guys got to go golfing and stuff too. golfing. We go, what were we doing? We do going camping? Are we good? Oh, that'd be really great. Oh, you were asking me about how he proposed. Oh yeah, we've talked about this just recently. We did, but so I, sorry, we can't talk about it. Mm, anyway, moving. We on. should, we no. should. <laughs> and also, do you have any re uh, wedding recommendations? What should we do for our wedding? I have oh, so fuck. many recommendations. Oh, Isn't this also so oh, funny? Oh my god, you guys! One of my, wait, one of my friends said to me, "I was like, Anna Anna Lisa, they're, they're like waiting us. for the show." I was like, Annalisa, I got an idea for you. Annalisa <laughs> just <laughs> wants to get, you know, she just wants to elope. She doesn't want to do anything. And she's one of my buddies was like, "The minute that ring is on, she's gonna want to do something." Oh, and I was like, "I don't know. I don't think you know." She talked to me today. She said, "City Hall." I was like, "I don't think you." know her that well yeah but we went to dinner and she was like i mean maybe we could do something <laughs> <laughs> you know and it just spirals into being i want to do something i go, I go very Castle. back and forth I, I think his family would want something but um it's just hard to organize is, okay, that is there a, it's no hard. I, she DIY'd well, the whole i don't like people in i don't Canada. want anyone to pay a dime for I am, anything i am an untapped resource for you christy is an unbelievable fucking party planner like un fucking believe. believable. Okay. Let me also just say, going back to our early conversation, <laughs> that I feel like you know, uh, but the day that I was going to propose, I was getting, I was obviously texting like my parents and my brother. Yeah. And my mom was like, "Of course you're freaking out. It's the biggest decision of your life." Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, it right. is. Like this is the person that you're melding your life with, and it makes you think about all the reasons that you do that." And with us. We do come from such different backgrounds, mm -hmm. but that the the basic stuff is the values. The lines. It's it's the values, but it's also like the way that we joke around with each other. Oh like, yeah, we are always laughing in our place. Like we are just like dying laughing with each Don't other, have doing kids. stupid Continue. shit, <laughs> doing stupid stupid stuff, acting like complete idiots, and we just find it really funny. Mm -hmm. And it's like. The other thing I will say, the other thing that I'll say that I don't think I have in any other relationship in my life is that I want to do like chores and things that I know will make life easier on her. It literally is like, I just want to get it done so that she doesn't have to worry about it or whatever. That's like what be. Brennan was saying. He's like, because I don't make, I don't have these expectations for him to like buy me things. Or totally. He would yeah. like to try that I to, want to do it. make totally. the money to like do something Here's fancy the other thing, nice. guys. <laughs> we just talked about this not too long ago, but what I would say is people fucking quit on each other. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. They quit when mm. it gets hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, Fuck that. Yeah. You're saying yeah. you haven't gone, I'm sure you've gone through some things. You will we definitely go through some things. Yeah, we've, we've gone through some things. We've definitely gone through some stuff. that is the covenant yeah. of marriage. Yeah. It's that you go through the fucking hard times mm -hmm. together and that you have each other's back. Mm -hmm. When it's even the as hard as it could fucking possibly be, mm -hmm. that's when you actually need each other the most. Mm -hmm. That's not when you quit. And you don't mm -hmm. look at it as like, you, you look, I think in life too, I'm learning this 360, like l learn that it's an opportunity for growth rather than it's like, this is a mark against us. The or pressure like, makes the diamond. Like the yeah. scoreboard mm -hmm. thing is so fucking toxic. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. My, I don't know if oh you've ever God. been like, I don't oh, think you I have. Any, I won't say who, yeah. but there was a person in our lives who was familial uh, who literally before he got married oh. pulled me aside and was yeah. like, so, you know, like you got to make sure like you're, you know, like you do enough stuff. Cause like it's, it's all, it's all politics. It's all politics, marriage, whoever mm. does, you know, this person does one now you got to make sure you do something like just keep it even. So the scoreboard's even and like had this whole talk and with they're me. divorced and he, he thought he was like yeah. giving me, yeah, they're divorced now, yeah. but he thought he was giving me like, he's not a, even a bad person, but he thought he was giving me like this yeah. advice. Cause he was in a horrible marriage. Yeah. Number one, but yeah. also at the end of it, he thought he'd be like, okay, man, I was like, I was like, yeah, man, your marriage sounds super fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's literally yeah, man, what my response was. I don't know much about this marriage because I'm about to get married, but this sounds yeah. awful. This sounds <laughs> terrible, yeah. and you need to redo your shit. Yeah, you're making but, me not want to do this. Get out of the room. Yeah. I think the other thing is like just telling the other person how grateful you are for them, which we do all the time. Oh my God, he'll, he'll set up the coffee. Thanks for sending the coffee. Aww. Oh, you yeah, like, I mean, I'd probably things, say thank those, you. We'd say you're thank you to each other. You weren't like that in other relationships? I think I... I don't... No, I don't think so. I think that I probably was... I think I probably like did stuff, it, it's just a completely different beast. You know, now. that's what I have like, find so funny. It's a completely funny. different Guys can be total dicks and then like they find the right woman and oh, they yeah. completely fucking I was, Well, I horrible. wasn't a total <laughs> yeah. I was back. I'm not talking I was about back. you. I was I'm talking about this one. Yeah, no, I was. But yeah, a woman, a woman can change. Yeah. And I was a it. psycho and I was a psycho with all of them. And so when the guys are like, oh, she's a psych crazy ex, I was like, I was a crazy well, ex. Well, I'd be like, oh no, I get it. 
Yeah. yeah. But I was also terrible. Right. But but we all were. We it's also about timing. There's, timing there's a lot of yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. But if yep. you're just you're just tweaking getting better, like as a person yeah. Yeah. consistently, mm -hmm. then you can look back and take accountability and be better in your own marriage or relationship for that. Mm -hmm. But you just said something that is very near and dear to my heart and important, which is that gratitude is the and I said this in a previous conversation that we had had on her podcast, mm -hmm. but um her other podcast, that I think gratitude is the most important virtue. Right, it's like yeah. even to be alive anywhere, even mm -hmm. if they're suffering every day, which is awful, and we mm -hmm. should mitigate, mm -hmm. is still you're alive. You're still alive, right. mm -hmm. and you're on yeah. Earth, the one rock that yeah. has life on it in our solar system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, dude, just expressing gratitude for these things in America will absolutely keep that thing thriving. Aww, I yeah. love talking about being like connected together. to his um. But but, but being gra cute. having gratitude towards everyone, right? Just not just your partner, but everyone in yeah. life. My God, if we were all just nicer to each other and yeah, sought out love but, more and, and everything even if you're great. even if you're grateful for bad shit, that's the key. Mm. I'm grateful for That's this hard. shitty thing that happened. I know. Like I had something happen today. We won't talk about it, but yep. I'm like, hmm, do I want to be treated this way? And then I'm like, no, this is, do I need to leave this thing? And it's like, no, this is me figuring out that I can stick up for myself and I don't need this. Like absolutely. And you did a great, you, you did a great job. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. go through that with gratitude and be like, no, no, no. I'm going to have graciousness and gratitude for myself and By also the, for wait, you guys. Internet, say, guess what it is and get it viral. Sorry, ah! go ahead. No. <laughs> and processing, look, processing too for us as child actors who didn't have a lot of autonomy and like our own voices. To, I mean, to get us to the place where we're so loved up that mm. we can have that voice to process all that, even mm -hmm. as it's happening. Because so much of the traumas um, happen so fast and then you're like, wait, it took me decades then to like try <sighs> to process all yeah, that, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, and now it's like, you guys have loved us up so that we can be grown ass women. I know, and so we can love you right back because yeah. I'm really good at that. And yeah. so are you, we're yeah. I'm really good at loving someone. It's also yeah. just so yeah. fun. I know, right? to be in love. It we're gonna go, fun. by the way, and I just love us so much. We're gonna, gonna go have dinner. dinner after yeah. this. Yeah, we're all gonna have and dinner. And celebrate their engagement. Yes. Yeah. And if you guys haven't already wished them well on uh, uh, either on What the, the hell have you been doing? Is there a time frame in mind mm -hmm. for a marriage date? Uh, uh, I guess maybe 2025, right? Because I have some stuff to do oh, this honey, year. Oh that's soon. Uh, comment below if you wanna yeah. see our wedding on TV, if you wanna see it in magazines. Comment below with <laughs> ideas. Just you wait. I love you guys. I love you. This is one of my favorite. Favorite ones. I love. So fun. I love Yay. you. I love you. Thanks Happy for coming. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. That's right. Can you feel Don't one up the us. love tonight? Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again.